Understanding the Binomial Distribution. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick from Creative Maths, including Statistics Learning Centre. This video is about the binomial probability distribution, where it is applicable, and a bit of an idea where it comes from. This video builds on our previous videos about discrete distributions and probability distribution models. A binomial distribution is used to model situations where you have a series of independent events that all have the same probability and have just two outcomes. A binomial distribution is defined by the number of successes x out of a number of trials n, all of which have the same probability p. We state the distribution as binomial n equals p equals. Here is an example. Luke sells ice creams in his ice cream stand. He is concerned that his new supply of cones is substandard. Too many of them are breaking. From his previous supply, he estimates that about 5% of cones break. This can be expressed as a probability of 0.05. We define x as being the number of cones that break in a box of 12 cones. Each cone has a probability of 0.05 of breaking. We can model this as a binomial distribution where n, the number of trials, equals 12 and p, the probability of success, equals 0.05. In this case, we have defined success as a cone breaking. In statistics, words can mean something different from their everyday meaning. Luke wants to know the probability that exactly one cone breaks out of a packet of 12. He wants to find the probability that x equals 1. We can use a formula, a table, a spreadsheet, an app, or a calculator to find the probability. I particularly like this free app found at onlinestatbook.com. I enter n of 12, the number of cones in the box, and a pi of 0.05. Sometimes the individual probability of success uses the Greek letter pi. I state that I would like to find out the probability of x being exactly 1, and I do this by saying that the probability I'm interested in is between 1 and 1 inclusive. You can check on the graph that you have the probability range that you're interested in. The answer is 0 0.3413, and you can see it in red on the graph. Now say I wanted to know the probability that two or more cones break in a box of 12. I change the input to above 1. By looking at the graph, I can see that I've included all values 2 and above. The probability of two or more cones breaking is 0.1184. We can use the app to explore further the likelihood of different numbers of breakages and different ranges of numbers of breakages. Understanding the binomial distribution. We will now look at where this answer comes from. Now say Luke wanted to know the distribution for one cone, it would look like this. There are only two values that x can take, 0, no breakage, or 1, one breakage. There is a 95% probability that the number of breakages is 0, and a 5% probability that the number of breakages is 1. But what about if there were two cones? Here is the distribution for binomial n equals 2, p equals 0 0.05. The most likely thing to happen is that no cones break. The probability for zero breakages is the probability that cone 1 doesn't break, which is 0 0.95, and cone 2 doesn't break, which is also 0 0.95. The combined probability is 0 0.95 times 0 0.95, which is 0 0.9025. The probability of one of the two cones breaking is the probability of the first one breaking and the second one staying whole, or the first one staying whole and the second one breaking. That equals 0 0.05 times 0 0.95 plus 0 0.95 times 0 0.05, which comes to 0 0.095. Is it possible for both cones to break? Yes, but it's very unlikely. 0 0.05 times 0 0.05 equals 0 0.0025. And here is the distribution of breakages for three cones. As you can see, the likelihood of no breakages is getting smaller, and the spread of numbers is getting greater. 
It soon gets too tricky to work out all of the combinations individually, so this is why we use tables or electronic methods. Requirements for a binomial distribution to be applicable. There are four conditions for a binomial distribution. There are multiple trials. For each trial, there are two possible outcomes. The probability of success is constant, the same for each trial. And the trials are independent. The outcome of one does not affect the outcome of another. In our example, each of the cones was a trial. The outcome was either a breakage, success, or no breakage, failure. We assume that the rate of 5% breakage stays the same throughout the supply of cones. And we assume that one cone breaking is not going to affect whether or not the next cone breaks. That was a quick overview of the binomial distribution. If you would like some more, maybe some examples, let me know in the comments below. Do click on like and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell to be notified when more videos are posted. And may your probability of success be very close to one.